Pisces, welcome to your November 2018 General Tarot Reading. It's Rena here. <laughs> I've been getting the Hangman card for various signs. And I really love that that depiction of it. This is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck. Oh, very nice. So the heart of the matter is the hangman. So there may be something that you're waiting for. Maybe it's uh, hearing back from a job that you interviewed for, and you're kind of left in this suspense. Am I going to get it? Uh, it seems very promising. Or some other type of transaction. Maybe you're trying to close on a house or sell your house, and everything seems like is you know, on hold. And we do have in November the Venus retrograde for the first half of the month and Mercury retrograde for the second half of the month. So anytime you have these personal planets retrograding, it can affect people in different ways depending on what house it's in. And it could even literally be for house issues. You know, with Venus uh, retrograding, maybe some kind of monetary transaction that is kind of on hold for for whatever reason and with mercury retrograde contract issues you know paperwork snafus and things like that the hangman is actually connected to your ruling planet neptune and i think that is probably why it is a card of sacrifice but not a bad sense of sacrifice where you are willing to let go of the need for your own satisfaction or getting what you want in favor of somebody else, which is very Piscean anyway, we know that. Or it can be like a holding, a waiting period. Um, you're waiting for somebody to come back from if they're, you know, like a partner coming back from another country or you're waiting for some kind of word about something, some kind of a message. And the other thing, too, I was, there was something else that I wanted to say. Oh, surrender. This is a big one, I think, with the hangman, where you have done all you can do and you just have to let it go. Not that you're giving up on a certain dream, but you're letting it go for now because you know that you can't force the issue. So, I mean, I guess you could also say if you're in a, a relationship that is um, where, like, the other person is married and you are waiting for them to leave their partner because you want to be with them and there's nothing you can do. You can't force them to do it. Uh, maybe they've made promises and broken them uh, to you, is it to you? Broken promises. Um, and that has caused possible pain. You know, if somebody, if you're counting on something and, and the other person won't do it, it's, it is kind of pain, or maybe you're exasperated by it. The other thing, too, is that that feeling sometimes is of being in a holding pattern where it's like you f you're like feeling controlled by somebody else's lack of decision making at the uh, base of this reading which could be like the past influencing the present we got them we have the mother of swords and this is like i think this is like you becoming more detached over the situation so that you're not as emotionally connected to it as you w were in the past. It's possible that you felt as if 
you were very, uh, like, let's say it was a job situation and you were like, I have to have this job. And then you realize, no, the only job I have to have is the one that the universe wants me to have. And everything else isn't what's meant to be. But sometimes because we want something very badly, you know, obviously the emotions get, you know, mixed up in it. And so you're able to rise above that and then you don't feel very upset. Whereas in the past, you may have been like much more anxiety ridden by something. What's crossing you, which may be kind of a whole, uh, you know, like an obstacle is the Eight of Cups. And in personal relationships, this would be like that you refuse to walk away from it and that you probably need to. So you're hanging on to something that isn't very um, good for you. If this is like, you know, this could apply actually to any situation, but walking away is not just like abandoning an idea. It's, this card also refers to like a spiritual quest. And so for some people, it's about having a vision for your life that involves the spiritual. So maybe you've been so involved with um, wanting more money or wanting love in your life that you've forgotten about your own development and that it's not dependent upon an external condition. And this is like saying that that spiritual path that we are on, whether we know it or not, is really the ultimate reason that we're here, I feel like. But we're still interacting in this material universe at the same time. So it's kind of like that the temperance card. We're in one foot in the water and one foot on land, you know, the spiritual and the material. But understanding that you have to have both and maybe that has been you've been too like hung up on if you will with the hangman hung up on whatever it is that you're wanting and not putting it in the bigger context and actually this card is kind of like that bigger context this is the spiritual message the son of cups is the knight of cups and this is a card of Somebody, this could be like um, a male water sign individual who is artistic um, and, and very romantic. So this would be a fellow Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio individual. In some cases, this might be in a personal relationship. Maybe this is somebody that you know and maybe they like you, but you kind of are attracted to a different type. Sometimes Pisces, I think, attracts a kind of person who is more uh, insensitive because that that idea... Well, I was going to say, especially if you have Venus and Aries, you may be attracted to fire signs and then find that they're like not as caring as you would like them to be in the way that you need them to be. So that could be somebody that you're overlooking that really is a good fit for you, but you need to kind of understand what kind of person is best suited for you and appreciate that. Maybe because this can be like an offer of some type and this could even be an offer of love and maybe you're not you're you're waiting for somebody else and that's problematic in a certain way and also with the knight of cups this is also asking you like you know do you feel worthy of accepting what somebody is offering and maybe that's part of what is going on too that you're 
kind of like focusing on something that's more of a dead end and there are there are things out there that would be much more positive for you but you are kind of blind to them and a lot of Pisces people are artistic because I associate this card with being an artist and maybe you are doing a type of profession that is very left brain that's very kind of um, rational and dry and you are better suited for something that is more creative or more nurturing and for whatever reason you're choosing to go this other route and it's creating more obstacles for you because of it because it's going against what really is good for you you know I found in my own life that when I was doing things that I might have had some talent, ability in, but it really wasn't my true purpose, there were a lot of <laughs> roadblocks that came my way, and it wasn't really flowing. And when I was doing something that was much more what I was supposed to be doing, it just came quite easily. So that's something to consider as well. The advice is represented by the Mother of Wands, which is the Queen of Wands. This is a card that is associated with Sagittarius. I would add the other uh, fire signs. Uh, Leo, Aries, and again, the Aries energy is something that may even be part of your personal planets and may be something that attracts you. But the point is that with the Mother of Wands, this can be a career woman. Someone, if, if it's somebody who is a mother, a literal mother, that you also are interested in being in a career and maybe that's what's going on here is that you're kind of um, feeling in a holding pattern because maybe you are at, uh, staying home with your child and you want to um, be able to go and into the work world again and that has been something that you're like kind of emerging from this cocoon even though the a bad isn't in the cocoon but you feel kind of constricted and yeah I mean I've been getting a couple of readings along those lines but even the Queen of Wands as advice is about going for these career goals and also in terms of your demeanor of being very confident while maintaining that sense of what the queen represents, which is more of the nurturing, it's the mother energy, and also it is feminine energy, which is what Pisces is. So it's not losing that, you know, because fire can be aggressive, and I think it's the best of both worlds when you get the feminine and the masculine together. What's coming in is the Wheel of Fortune, which is a great card for aligning with your destiny and um, luck on your side. And I just feel like things flowing in a great way. So in November, for most of the month, we have the sun in a water sign. So that trine kind of um, aspect is associated with easy flowing energy and that can make it very nice if you're trying to manifest something and Scorpio Jupiter and Scorpio is still in play for the first how oh, oh, let's see seven days eight days you could say technically so the first week and that's your ninth house and that's the house that Jupiter rules and so maybe you get that last blast of good luck 
in the house that Jupiter rules. So that could be some kind of expansion in the area of um, spiritual endeavors. And that, that could even be a professional endeavor that has some spiritual connection to it, as well as travel, foreign travel, higher education. And then Jupiter. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Jupiter is associated with the Wheel of Fortune. So that certainly could be talking about timing issues. And then Jupiter's in that 10th house when it's in Sagittarius. So the better it gets, the better it gets. And sure enough, speaking of number 10, we have here the 10 of Cups as the outcome. And this is a card of you know, happily ever after. This is a card of marriage. This is the card of, you know, family, harmony. So any kind of domestic situation is really great. This can be, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune. See, isn't that interesting? The Wheel of Fortune is number 10. So this could be career related. And I think that for some people, maybe you're trying to transition into a more soul-based career or healing, a career in the healing arts? If so, maybe this message is specifically for you. It looks really good. If there is some kind of situation with somebody that you're waiting for, it can be that maybe you'll get what you have been wishing for. And that would be really wonderful. But I think, I think, too, that in some cases, you do have to leave a certain situation. If you've been just hanging on and waiting, you may be, like, not being honest with yourself. I read a lot of comments from people who are waiting for somebody. And in general, my I mean, and when I say waiting... Typically, it means that that person is involved with somebody else. And I think that in a lot of cases, that this is problematic, to be honest with you, because while I understand that sometimes people's lives are complicated and they do have things that are keeping them from leaving their other relationship, I think sometimes that's an excuse to string along the other person. And it's good to be patient, but it to me, some people are a little bit too patient. And they're, you know, living their life waiting for somebody who is not motivated to leave whatever relationship they're in because perhaps they're not even being honest about their true situation. Just because somebody says something doesn't make it true, right? So, obviously this is an individual, you know, it's like a case-by-case -case basis. There may be some good reasons why people don't feel capable of leaving, but um, I guess it's like the Knight of Cups. You know, I really felt that was a card of self-esteem for you, Pisces, of like, you know, if somebody offered you love, or somebody offered you your dream job, would you feel worthy of accepting it? Would you stay in a job that you have right now that feels like you're not being respected, but, and maybe like the hangman is like you feel trapped, you feel like nothing's happening, but you can't move. You can't like move forward. And, um, would you would you be able to walk away from that and 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 accept a sincere offer it's really a good question to ask yourself because sometimes you you do have to believe in yourself a lot more than you you are believing in yourself now so Anyway, I hope that you enjoy this and I wish you all the best in November and if you'd like a private reading check me out below. Take care. Bye.